Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Friday here, 21 August. After the Thursday where stocks held, that's basically uh, the theme of yesterday. It got down to 50, could not get below. Here we are, we're up at 90. So it's risk on again. Surely we get an assault at the all-time highs today. Um, don't see why that's not going to happen. We talked about sort of keeping it in your pants yesterday. Um, hope you did. We were square on the stock side. We got dicked around in, in um, dollars are. No, no great shakes. Um, we squared the tactical book at the end of the day yesterday up at 29. But currency-wise... It was just kind of annoying. But anyway, stocks here, you see, uh, we couldn't get below 50 at the open, the cash open. Um, 20 is really our big, big number. 50 now becomes important after yesterday's hold. Um, let's see what happens today. Surely we're going to make new highs today. This is not a fade uh, today for us. You just want to sit tight and watch this. Um, and make it sort of instructional on on how you're going to treat the rest the rest of the world fixed income up to 17 yesterday um we keep missing our we keep missing sales in this zb we had 19 offer we're still core short um back down here at 01 we like this lower, especially with fixed income, especially with uh, risk on. We're really closely watching the inflation deal uh, globally. It just seems like the supply side inflation trade could be the surprise of the year. Um, so we're quietly core short ZB still in this consolidation period. Nothing really to say, just recapping. BTPs not doing anything, just stuck up here at 148. Um, pretty weak horse here, pretty weak vehicle. BTPs are not in play. Um, we are paid to pick the things that are in play and to trade them. This was a, a bad choice, not costing anything, but it's just not in play. So just ignore my BTP banter. Let's go to currencies. Uh, Euro looked offered there below 118.30. Now looks bid at 118.80. At the end of the day, we're just sort of in the middle, middle of nowhere here. Um, not much to do in Euro. Middle of the range. Cable. Um, I don't know. It's like getting a hammer in the mouth. Um, don't ask me what's going on on cable. That's just obscene, right? 132.73, 130, 130.70, 70, 200 points, bang, bang, bang. It's not just like consolidation around the range. That's just like, uh, I don't know. It's like a F1 guy on crack hitting the corner in Monte Carlo in the wrong gear. <clears throat> Rather unpredictable, fairly dangerous. Um, staying away from cable. We just don't really uh, don't really know what's going on. This high is 84. The other high was 70. I don't know. It looks bid, right? It looked offered yesterday. It looked bid the day before. No fucking idea, cable. Dollar Swiss, middle of nowhere again. Uh, we had the Viagra bar yesterday. Now we're back down towards 90.70. 90.50 should hold. Again, nothing to do, middle of the range now. Dollar yen is weirdly um, less bid. Let's just put it that way. As the dollar was going through the roof, um, even though we did a bullish engulfing here, it just really couldn't get out of its own way. 106.22, the high yesterday. Now we're back down 105. You just get the feeling dollar yen's going lower. 
that's just a feeling the chart sort of says lower maybe it's this cross yen that's stubbornly going lower look at all these tails top side tails downside tails chasing your own tail um, we talked about this as a trap right 140 20 is a trap it's kind of a 70 point trap but we we have very strong resistance at 140 90 be careful technically this looks like it might break out sterling yen but uh, we urge caution. Dollars are just so annoying. Um, second time up to 34, we had entries. It got to 33 and a half. Now we dojied. Uh, feels like this market's long. Uh, maybe too many people are listening to Privateer and our short czar. Um, our tactical purchases from two days ago, we dumped those at the end of the day yesterday because uh, we were going out for some fresh beer. So um, we squared that stuff up. We still want to uh, uh, try and accumulate this, but now we're just cautious. So 34 on the top side is your bull bear line, your pivot. Uh, could this get down to 1685? We'll start looking at buying this on a dip, maybe near 117 the figure. But for now, the guns are down. Um, with equities about to make a new high, there's no ru there's no rush to dive into uh, dollars are. Aussie, what a what a fake what a what a fake out that was yesterday. It looked it was just I mean 71.37 short all day, sold 97s, bought 87, sold 95s, bought 68s, sold 78s. Um, man, we're like, happy days are here again. We had a great average. I think our average at one point was like 72.48. Um, but then what are you going to do when you see it towards the end of the day, right back up at the figure, you just have to cut it. And say I don't know what the fuck's going on uh, it's a trap or you know there's always another trade right we, we marry nothing here um, we're the ultimate polygamous animal um, we'll take any trade but we marry nothing we'll fuck any chicken um, Anyway, we cut that, cut that guy as we were leaving yesterday as well. So as you can see, we're square here, uh, sort of scratching our head. This is a nice chart, Euro Aussie, but it's totally not in play. Um, 165.50, that's a good point. Triple top now. If it goes risk off, this could be your horse. Um, just an interesting chart, but totally Euro Aussie is not in play. Aussie Yen, same thing as Aussie Dollar, just a ball kick yesterday. Uh, Kiwi Yen, more ball kicks. Kiwi, I mean, this was a flush through 25, and we totally missed it. And it's ding dong down there at 90, and here we are. Now it looks like a turn bar. No idea. Gold. Not too strong, I gotta say. Uh, and if yields go higher, uh, gold gold can get hurt. Um, and we're gonna look at Apple stock every day now, just because it's so absurd and kind of it's sort of cult-like. Nice big strong bar up there, four hundred and seventy-three dollars, two trillion market cap. Um, they do have some sort of dividend. What's that? 82 cents, 240. It's not going to go too far. $2.40 dividend. It's like a half a percent. Um, why don't they have more of a dividend? Anyway, we're not stock guys, but this uh, looks treacherous to us. We're not trading it. We're not short it. We're not long it. But now we're watching it every single day because this is the marker. This is the beast. This is the triple six 
that is going to move the world. When it turns, uh, it'll be key. It'll be key to watch. So we're just watching Apple every day now. Not trading it, just watching it. What else? Let's look at crude. That was another just whacked out crazy. I mean, look. This chart, this should just get rid of that. But let me take a look at this hourly bar. That's not exactly kumbaya, my love. That is like, what the fuck is happening? 4270, 4160, 4160 to 4280. I don't know. It Was there news? Was I asleep at the wheel? Or, I mean, what is that? Amazing. But right back to Nowheresville, this gets interesting, maybe above 43.50. Um, but as most of you know, we suck at crude, so whatever is what it is. Finally, Bitcoin, not doing anything. Um, some weird bars here. I don't know what these are. I mean, just typical Bitcoin bullshit. Try and pick some up on the low end of on the low end of the uh, of the nonsense. Same deal, Bitcoin. Uh, we're just watching here at the European Open. We have nothing close, nothing of interest, no trades uh, on the frontal lobe. The books are square. The tactical books are square. We like this level in Euro Aussie, 165.50. doesn't look like it's going to trade. We do have uh, European PMIs out, which we don't really care too, too much about. But just sharing, those of you... Uh, who like to be abreast of the foreign exchange calendar, which totally doesn't matter right now. Uh, releases don't matter at all. And in the U.S., we basically have nothing. We got some manufacturing, PMI, Canadian retail sales. Again, none of that matters. Um, everyone's watching risk on, risk off. We are risk on right now. Um, I don't see any great safe places to buy risk. So we just sit and wait. Patient. There's always another trade. Good luck out there, people. Have a good weekend. Talk to you on Monday. Ciao.